Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to simplify using our properties of exponents. Now, when doing a problem like this, basically, before we get rid of our negative exponents, um, actually, in this case, yeah, before we get rid of our negative exponents, what I would recommend is getting rid of your parentheses first, then get rid of the negative exponents. So you can see here, I, I have a quotient raised to a power. Therefore, I can use the power to quotient rule, which basically tells me that I can apply this power to the term in the numerator as well as the term in the denominator. So therefore, this is x cubed raised to the negative second divided by y to the negative second raised again to the negative second. All right. Then what I would use is I would do the power rule to determine my variable, to determine what exactly my power is, and then get rid of any negative exponents if I still have them. So remember, when you have a power to a power, you're going to multiply the terms. So this is x to the 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. And here, I have y to the negative 2 times negative 2, which would be y to the positive 4. So therefore, this 4 I'm actually not going to remove from my denominator. And that's why I like this rather than you know, trying to rewrite these as positive you know, terms and then rewrite that. It's easiest just to get rid of the parentheses first. And then you can say, all right, now the only thing I need to do is rewrite this uh, x to the negative 6 as x to the positive 6. Well, to rewrite a negative exponent in the numerator is to rewrite it in the denominator. So that is, are you done? 1 over x to the sixth, y to the fourth. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your expression using the properties of exponents. Thanks.